good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon again good afternoon welcome again guys welcome how are you again guys i'm back again i am back again oh glory be to god i just want to say to someone don't allow a person to take your kindness and take disadvantage of it not because you have the art of giving do not allow a person to take disadvantage of stuff sometimes person they don't want it but because they know the art that you have and the love that you have for them they try to take disadvantage of stuff so i'm here to tell you you know what sometimes you're seeing some person going through some stuff and because of the kindness of your heart ask god first to intervene because sometimes you go because you have the art of giving and you get in your emotion because you're sorry for the person because of the state or maybe they they, they, they come across you with a pity face or with a sorry voice ask god if you, if you should give them this at times the lord we drop it in your spirit to donate or to bless. But when you see some situation or some person come with you with some pity stuff, like they want to live on you because they know the, 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 the art that you have, ask God because sometimes a God put them in the situation. And we will win enough self because we have the art of giving with intervening a God punishment of them. And cause problem on ourselves. Watch this. I say this in and out. There was a particular family. I took it upon myself. So I wanted to, to help them. And for them to get somewhere better to live. And while I, I, I was there. I feeling so sorry. Knowing that I am a single mother. And at times it's very very hard. Very, very hard. Even when I even work in it, very hard. I cannot find even the lunch money. But I took it up on myself saying that, okay then, I think I'm in a better position and I have a platform where I can go and ask for help for them. But the moment I take on the battle and say, all right, I'm going to stand for them. Each time... I look in the help is like it's a tug and war. And it's like they themselves that is in the position, they don't have any interest to want the thing to done. So it's like it's me a push. I am the one that is pushing for them to get somewhere better. But they have a mindset. They want to live in that state because it's easy for them to gain. Because you have some people have some they, they, they make up their mind to live certain way and to do certain things because it's easier for them to get things because they know especially when it involves children or baby or sick people or old people you're quick to get so i took it upon myself and i realized that it's a tag and war when i started to buy the stuff and get things that i realized and i put in my first seven thousand dollar i realized things started to go downhill and it's like everything started to dry up for me and close off but all i've got to find out is when the lord said to me do not put another money in their hand do not give them your money do not give them your money. The only thing you should give to them is food to eat. Don't put your money in their hand. Because the moment I started to do so, because it's like they are in a, a, a pattern of generational curse. So what a person don't understand, if I, if I gave you $10,000, that is a seed I'm planting in your life. So if your soil is not good, you're not a fertile ground. Whatever you are pushing under the, 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 whatever stemming from your, 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 your root, that's what going to breed out on my seed that I sow in your life. So sometimes you have some people, they don't really want it, but they're taking disadvantage and squandering stuff all about so when you have that artist always giving them and because they they, they they know that they can come to you and ask 
and they're making fool of it because they know that you can give them it in a 10 and 15 20 or whatever it may be so they, 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 they're taking it for a joke so you have the art, but you're not knowing that you're destroying yourself because the person that you're giving, they're taking disadvantage now of the situation. At first, they, 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 they're in need of it. But because they realize now, they get a glimpse of your art and realizes what you can. They realizes the art. You have, so they're taking it for a disadvantage. So the Lord said to me, do not give them your money give them food if they ask you for food give them food to eat don't put your money in their hand and i had to pray and break the curse break the soul tie break everything you know what they did not have any intention to change they want to sit in that situation because it's either for them when people see them it's either for them to get a thousand dollar two thousand dollar and they can take it and buy a cigarette they can take it and buy um liquor or they can take it and do this so they don't have any mindset to change so sometimes don't allow the goodness of your heart allow you to sow wrongfully ask god if it's the right place they sow in it ask god unless it's god tell us look here I'm not saying person will ask you because they really needed it but some see the goodness of your heart say so you easily give unto them and take this advantage of stuff. And if they are taking it, doing um, different stuff with your money, it can arm you because it's so you sow the seed. So if they are, if if their soil and their mindset and whatever is not clean and their intention is not right, that's what you're going to breathe out. So guys, I'm getting out of the rain, the rain start. Love you, love you. I hope this one help you because I was in my house and. It does drop in my spirit. I said I'm going to make a quick video of this. All right. Mwah.